Hello friends, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Kaylee, this is The Tea House, and today, or well, yesterday, <laughs> uh, we got our whole cow in from our rancher. Uh, we live in Colorado, and Colorado is known for um, a lot of their beef, and last year, I think it was, yes, last year around this time, we reached out to a rancher and asked, hey, what does it cost to get beef? Because we were starting to see prices go up in the grocery stores. And the cost per pound in Colorado that we just paid, um, it is the beginning of January, was $5 a pound. And now a lot of people are sitting there going, oh my goodness, that's way more than what I pay in my area. But we have to remember, and at the end of this, uh, I will give you a little cost comparison spreadsheet that I made. Um, just comparing, so the cheapest store in my area is Walmart. Um, and so just comparing the cost per pound at Walmart versus the cost per pound overall for everything that we got, uh, it is a substantial savings. Uh, we also split the entire cow with a couple other families. So I am going to insert a couple clips here of what an entire cow looks like. Uh, we laid it all out on the garage floor uh, so that it was easier to divide for everyone that we had purchased for as well. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them. Uh, I will never buy meat at the grocery store ever again. Um, we are, at the end of this month, we are uh, going to be purchasing some chicken from Azure Standard. Uh, our local chicken option fell through, um, but that is something that I will be um, trying to find locally uh, again. Uh, and then we also purchased pork uh, late last year. We purchased half a hog, uh, and that is something that we will continue to do. So the only meat that we cannot find locally uh, would be um, fish or seafood. Uh, and that is something, um, a small portion of our diet and our protein requirements uh, that I am willing to buy from another source, be that Azure, be that, um, you know, uh, sprouts or whole foods or something like that. Um, that's a, a small amount that may be marked up from um, a cost perspective that I am willing to deal with. So let's uh, move over to some of the clips of unloading. Um, my husband helped me divide everything uh, and my dad actually went and picked up everything. Uh, it was about 550 pounds, so not within my means uh, as a mom three weeks postpartum. Um, to be able to lift, so uh, definitely got some help from the men in the family. Uh, and um, we got it all loaded and put into coolers for everyone that we were helping. So let's move to that and then I will share my cost comparison spreadsheet.
use my very basic spreadsheet that I did. Uh, pardon the toddler noises in the back. Um, so I just listed off everything that we got. So the items are, you know, obviously listed by name. Um, and then the amount that we received. Um, and that is in number of packages. So we have 12 packages of soup bones, two packages of link steak, 14 packages of short, short ribs, um, 126 pounds, uh, one pound packages of ground beef. Uh, and then I just did a very quick Walmart search to figure out the price of those items. The only two that I couldn't find um, was the soup bones, which I averaged at about $3 a pound. Uh, and a Pike's Peak Roast, which I just took the average cost of the rest of the roasts, um, and I put that at $5.50. So totaling all of this up and then just dividing, um, so strictly an average, we're looking at $7.91 a pound for an average for all of these cuts of meat. And obviously, you know, getting 13 packages of two filet mignons, um, that's the most expensive uh, and then the least expensive um, that was a listed price, so I'm not going to count the soup bones, um, was the ground beef. I didn't, uh, I tried to get as close to uh, the, um, I mean, the, the, the meat we purchased from the rancher, um, uh, it was red Angus, uh, grass finished, grass fed. Uh, and as close to organic as possible. He doesn't use organic feed, but um, er, you know, he's not certified organic. Um, as close to it as possible. So this is our little bit of a breakdown, just to see how much um, it was worth uh, in terms of cost savings. Hi. You wanna say hi? Hi. Hi. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope Thank that you found you. this. <laughs> I hope that you found this video informative uh, and uh, gives you the push that you may need to try to find locally sourced meat options in your area. All 50 states have ranchers in them uh, that I'm sure would love uh, your business. Uh, I know that in Colorado, where I am, there's a Facebook group called Shop Colorado Farms. You can find pretty much anything on in terms of like produce or meats or, um, you know, animals, those types of things. So I highly suggest that you try to find something like that in your area. Uh, there are all sorts of options. Uh, you will be supporting local business. You'll be supporting your neighbors instead of the big corporations and you are going to be saving quite a bit of money in the long run. I hope that you are having a wonderful rest of your day. Uh, if you found this video useful, I would love for you to like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, we are going to be making a few more videos this uh, month. Uh, I am hoping to get a video out of making a very quick and easy elderberry syrup because flu and cold season is upon us. Uh, I also have a seed haul coming once my last order comes in. Yeah, you have blue. Good job. Uh, a seed haul coming um, once my last order comes in. Uh, and then uh, I have a baby essentials uh, video coming out here in the next couple days. And then at the end of the month or the beginning of next month will be our Azure Standard Haul. So I look forward to uh, making those videos for you and I hope that you are enjoying the content. If you have any additional questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments below. I try to answer every single question uh, or reply to every comment. Thank you so much. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. He's to come back. You wanna say bye? He's to come back. You wanna say bye? No, he's to come back. Oh, she wants you to come back. Bye. bye.